Hey, hometown. Uh, I hope that you have been enjoying these 40 days of awe uh, just as much as I have from the prayer times to the devotionals to the worship nights to the messages, all of it. And uh, boy, it sure has helped to enlarge, to magnify my picture of, of God. And I'm excited to be sharing this devotional off the tales of Kit's message. What an incredible message, wasn't it? Uh, you know, I can certainly relate to Gomer, especially in my early life. You know, I was lost. I got saved at around 17. And uh, boy, before that, my life was filled with promiscuity and uh, just running away from the Lord. So not hard to relate to Gomer. But, uh, you know, one particular story comes to mind when I think about um, the value that God places on his people, even someone like me. You know, when I was 17, uh, just before coming to know the Lord, I was lost. I was really, really lost. And uh, there was a point in my life to where I felt like I didn't matter. Like uh, no one really cared uh, if I was around, you know. And I didn't really have any close friends at this time. And, um, you know, I just thought if I wasn't here uh, around on earth, probably wouldn't matter that much. And it came down to one night to where, you know, I was close to ending my own life. And at the same time, there were these friends in high school who were trying to reach out to me and they gave me a Bible. And the Bible just kind of gathered dust on the shelf um, until this night. And I felt kind of a crossroad. I felt I could go through with what I was planning that night or I could give this Bible a try. And, you know, when I was feeling low, when I was feeling like I didn't matter, I opened up to Psalm 139. And of course, as Kit shared, Psalm 139 is full of kind of just gushing out of God's value for us, right? He knows all of my thoughts before I think them. He knows when I sit, when I stand, I can't go anywhere to escape from God's presence, uh, that his thoughts concerning me outnumber grains of sand. He, he formed me together in my mother's womb. You know, I don't care about anyone <laughs> quite to that level, but God, for some reason, cared about me. He cares about me. And, and that night, my life changed. And I, I reached out to these friends. I said, hey, I really need to get to know this God that you guys keep talking about because I think he may have talked to me <laughs> last night. Uh, you know, I can still struggle with feelings uh, of being valued, you know, struggle, struggling with, God, you do, you do value me, right? Especially in light of this awesome God, as, as God has magnified himself in my heart, you know, you think, well, I'm way down here. <laughs> you know, I don't compare, Why, how am I valuable? And then I remember the incredibly high cost that God paid to redeem my life, you know, and just in the, in the same way that Hosea went to redeem Gomer, Jesus, for whatever reason, paid the cost for me to be in relationship with him. And I remember that my value isn't in myself, my actions, what I do. My value is in the blood, the perfect life of Jesus Christ. And it just, it fills me with hope and with joy and with awe because a God who is so great, who's so majestic, who's so wonderful, would for some reason take a person like me and redeem me. He'd pay the price for me to be in relationship with him. And he thinks about me and he, he knows me, right? He, he cares about those intimate details of my life and it, and it leads me to awe and I hope that through this time especially through the devotionals this week and through all of this your picture of God is, is magnified like like mine has and you also remember that a God so big cares about you that he thinks about you that he loves you let's pray Lord we thank you for the work that you've done on the cross to make us valuable. You determine our worth. You determine our value. 
I thank you for that, that picture that Kit shared just with the cup and the sand and how often you think about us. And um, Some people could say it's obsessive, but your bandwidth, your ability to care is just that much greater than we can understand. So Lord, we thank you for the work that you've done and we praise you in Jesus' name. Amen.